Welcome everyone to GamerMelt. Today, GPU-Z adds support for the RX 6000 series, next-gen Ryzen gets listed for pre-order, first third-party benchmarks on the entire Ryzen 5000 series, RX 6000 GPUs get insane clocks, and there's an AMD GPU more powerful than the one benchmarked. This video is sponsored by Crossout. Okay, it's news time man. First up for today, quite possibly the most popular GPU utility, GPU-Z, has added support for both the RX 6000 series and Intel's first discrete graphics GPU. As you can see in the most recent update, the two GPUs were added. And next to the RX 6000 series, it mentions Navi 21, so we have full confirmation that the leaks on it were correct. Historically, GPU-Z support comes fairly close to a launch, so we should see the RX 6000 series pretty close to the October 28th announcement date. That also means we should expect Intel's first discrete GPU to be released fairly soon as well. Time, as always, will tell. And of course, with all that new hardware, you've got to put it to good use with today's sponsor. Crossout, the online vehicle shooter that lets you create your own death machines from scratch. We're talking weapons, structural parts, support systems, and even decorations. I mean, look at some of these weapons. Plus, Crossout is really easy to get into. You'll have your first vehicle up and running in no time. And there's tons of game modes from a fast-paced PvP mode to PvE raids and even a narrative-driven open-world campaign with the all-new season called Amusement Park. Oh, and did I mention that it's completely free to play on PC, PS4, and Xbox One? So what are you waiting for? When you use my link in the description, you'll get an exclusive bonus, a selection of three weapons or a powerful vehicle cabin. Next up for today, AMD's Ryzen 5000 series is right around the corner, and that means we get to see things like retailers listing the CPUs for pre-order. Originally found and shared by Momomo underscore US, you can see that all three of AMD's Ryzen 5000 series CPUs were listed on Amazon Italy for pre-order. Unfortunately, they have since been listed as unavailable, but they are still there. Honestly though, I wouldn't have purchased them anyway as they were listed for quite a bit more than MSRP. Still, it shows that retailers are gearing up for sale. Oh, and these do look like the final box design, so fairly similar to last gen except a darker color with a polished metal look. Next up, with Ryzen 5000 being so close to launch, we're also starting to see some leaked benchmarks, like the recent ones found by Tom Apisak. As you can see, the benchmarks were found on the SciSoft database, and he found one for every Ryzen 5000 CPU announced so far. We're talking the Ryzen 5950X, 5900X, 5800X, and 5600X. Unfortunately, this didn't include RAM speed, so it could get even better. But this Twitter user actually shared a couple fantastic graphs comparing them to their 3000 counterparts. And as you can see, no matter which test was done, whether it was the multimedia score or arithmetic, AMD's Ryzen 5000 CPUs crushed their last gen counterparts. In fact, the 5600X overtook the 3800X, and the 10-core 5900X beat the 16-core 3950X in the multimedia score. Let's just say that AMD's next-gen CPUs are set to be a powerhouse of a release, and I'm getting more excited by the day. Lastly for today, while talking about being excited for a release, I've got a massive story on AMD's next-gen RX 6000 series, and there's actually two parts to it, so let's get right to it. Starting things off, we have a leak from Patrick Schur, who's a software engineer that's been very accurate in the past. Well, in a recent tweet, he claims that AMD's upcoming Navi 21 XT variant, which is the main GPU variant, comes with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 and a TGP of 255 watts. Now, the big thing here is clocks, and Patrick Schur claims that Navi 21 XT comes with an almost unbelievable 2400 MHz game clock. Remember that game clock is the frequency when the GPU is actually playing games, i.e. high usage. So the gaming clock is typically much lower than the boost clock. For example, the 5700 XT only had a gaming clock of 1755 MHz. So this is a giant leap forward in clocks. With all of that said, Video Cards thinks that he's referring to AIB ports because they've heard that reference samples are getting a 2.3 GHz boost. Now, remember that we've heard something similar in the past. Red Gaming Tech originally claimed really high clocks, along with the essentially now confirmed Infinity Cache, though we're not sure if that's what it'll be called. 
Now, with all of this said, a recent post from Resident Leaker RO Games states that we could be looking at more of a boost clock of 2400 MHz with a gaming clock of 2000 to 2100 MHz. Really though, no matter which is true, the RX 6000 series is looking to get much faster clocks. Couple that with double the cores and the upcoming RX 6900 XT, or whatever it ends up being called, is said to be a monster of a GPU. Interestingly, RO Game also gives us the clocks of the XL variant, which would be something like the 6900 non-XT. This one still gets a very impressive boost clock at around 2100 MHz and a gaming clock as high as 1900 MHz. Now, the second part of this story comes from Video Cards, who discusses a third variant, the Navi 21 XTX model. According to his contacts with AIB partners, the model appears to be an AMD exclusive with potentially higher clocks and more cores. Unfortunately, their AIB sources don't seem to know much else, but it still features 16GB of GDDR6 on a 256-bit bus. With all of that said, the biggest part about this is that according to video cards, the model that was benchmarked for AMD's presentation was the XT model, meaning their most powerful XTX variant can do even better, so AMD still has something up their sleeve. With that said, don't get too excited because I have a feeling, given it's an AMD only variant, that it's something much more expensive that can more or less challenge the 3090. Video Cards even stated that the XT variant is more or less the big navvy. The XTX model will likely just be for those who want the absolute best and are willing to pay whatever to get it. That or it's more focused on specialty things like 8K. Either way, it's clear that AMD is coming back hard and Nvidia may actually need to worry a bit. So while that does it for today, have you picked up one of Nvidia's RTX 3000 cards or are you waiting for the RX 6000 series? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!